Republicans seem uh, Republicans seem inclined to put forward uh, their own weird definitions of what qualifies as a woman. And so first we have uh, Madison Cawthorn, you know that uh, young Republican congressman who said that Republican colleagues invited him to uh, cocaine fueled orgies. Well, he's weighing in on this uh, during a debate on the House floor. Let's see how this all went down. Take notes, Madam Speaker. I'm about to define what a woman is for you. XX chromosomes, no tally whacker. It's so simple. No tally whacker, which is the word that he, I guess, likes to use to describe the male genitalia, otherwise known as penis. You could just say penis, but you know he's doubling down on the right wing campaigning strategy of choice, which is to kick powerless people when they're already down. And in this case, it's the transgender community. Before we get to Marjorie Taylor Greene though, Cenk, curious what you think about the word tallywhacker. Do you allow it or would you like to dismiss it? I don't care at all. Um, so <laughs> look, they, the overall thing is LGBTQ community, they despise you. The Republicans despise you. Any vote for them is a betrayal of everyone. Uh, uh, that you love and care for, including yourself. So if your uh, beloved tax cuts are worth it, Peter Thiel, uh, Dave Rubin, and other uh, sellouts, uh, then okay, all right, you value money more than your own rights. And you think, I know I'm rich, I'm not gonna get affected by this. It's for uh, people that uh, aren't as wealthy that are in my community. And don't, I, they won't come for me, the fascists won't come for me. Yeah, I know a lot of people made that calculation before and turned out to be a massive mistake. But on the issue of tallywhacker, I don't give a damn what he calls it. I'm much more interested in the Marjorie Taylor Greene part of this story. So let's do that, Anna. All right, let's watch the video. What is a woman? Because she said she's not a biologist. I'm gonna tell you right now, what is a woman? This is an easy answer. We're a creation of God. We came from Adam's rib. We are the weaker sex, we are the weaker sex, but we are our partner, our husband's wife. Uh, I don't think that women are the weaker sex. I don't think men are the weaker sex. I think that men and women have uh, their own strengths that they bring to the table. But right wingers do in fact see women as weaker. They see them as second class citizens uh, and all, all this happens, I mean look, Jenk, it's so clear that they see women as second class citizens. Uh, look at what they're doing in an effort to punish them across the country if they engage in sexual activity that is not meant for the purposes of reproducing. They want to punish. Yeah. They, yeah. I mean, women have been treated as second class citizens by Republicans for a long, long time in this country. So that statement doesn't surprise me. Yeah. No, I actually want to thank Marjorie Taylor Greene for the clarity. Um, so now it's super uh, clear. So if you're a woman out there and you think you're the weaker sex and your job is mainly to serve your husband, great, you vote for Republicans. And I don't begrudge you at all. That's just your view of humanity and of being a woman. I'm not a woman, you're a woman, you get to make that decision. If you say, raise your hand and say, I am weaker than you, Jenk, and then go vote for Republicans. But you must say it first. You must say, I am weaker than Jenk. Then go vote for a Republican, because I'm a man, okay? I don't think women are the weaker sex at all. I think that's insane. I think lunatics think that. But if you're a right wing woman, I need you to say it first. I am your superior. Say that I am superior to you, then go vote for a Republican. Every other woman, go vote for Democrats or, or vote for anyone else. But don't vote for these monsters whose stated goal is to declare you the weaker sex. You'd have to be out of your mind to agree to that. Yeah, look, I just think it's, it is it is funny watching Republicans fumble as they're trying to use various talking points. Cuz like what she's trying to do there is she's trying to specifically like define women as a way of dismissing or rejecting transgender women. Right, and one of the other talking points that you will often see from Republicans like Marjorie Taylor Greene is this argument that respecting the gender identity of transgender women 
is an affront to so-called biological women. Women who were born as women and still identify as women. So it's just really, really interesting because on one hand, she'll be like, yeah, I mean, it's it's just wrong. It's wrong because what about you know natural born women? It's super disrespectful to them. What about their rights? And then at the same time, they'll make arguments like this, where they insult all women by referring to them as the weaker gender, the second class citizens. It's amazing. It really is. Okay, again, you can get with this or you can get with that. Okay, I'm not the one making the decision for you. So if you say, I'm just a vessel for my husband, I'm a useless person otherwise. I mean, I'm the female gender. I must just, my main role is to serve my husband, then go vote for Republicans. I think that's a crazy position. I say, you're not here just to be a vessel of someone else or to serve someone else. I think you're here to live your life with all the same rights that men have. I believe in equality because I'm an American. But if you don't agree with that, that's totally okay. Say, Cenk, I am here to serve my husband because without my husband, I'm useless. I'm useless. I'm just a vessel to please my husband. Go ahead, go vote for a Republican. Say it first, then vote for a Republican, okay? If you don't believe that, then why would you empower people like Marjorie Taylor Greene to go and say that on your behalf? You're putting her in power. It's not, it's not theoretical, guys, it isn't a movie. It's real life, they make laws in Congress. They're going to make laws like this and they are already in different states. In, in places like Texas, they're enslaving the women and the government, the jackbooted thugs of government tyranny are saying, we now control your body, you no longer have any rights over your body, men control your body. And by the way, don't you dare try to leave the state. So now they're passing laws in different places saying that if you're pregnant, you're not even gonna be allowed to leave the state, you're gonna be a prisoner of the state. If you like that, vote for Republicans. If you think you're, you're a woman and you think, I mean, my body shouldn't be my own, men should control my body. I love big government that tells me what to do with my body and because I am the weaker sex. Great, vote Republican. You can get with this or you can get with that, okay? And here's where it's at. So women, we are in, on your side. We believe in equality. But if you don't even have enough faith in yourself, that you think you're just here to serve men, great, there's a whole party built for you. It's called the Republican Party, have at it, Hoss.